So, in this lesson, we're going to be dividing a mixed number by another mixed number. I'm going to go over this example here, and then you should pause the video and try that example there. I'm sure we'll rock it, right? Let's do this. Coming up on the math review. So here's question one. Well, both of these values are mixed numbers, and they involve fractions. And whenever we have a division problem that involves any kind of fraction, you have to make sure you turn every number into a fraction. Now, even though mixed numbers have fractions, they are not fractions themselves. So what we have to do when we see mixed numbers is we need to make sure we convert them to improper fractions. If you forgot how to do that, don't freak out. I'll make sure I post a link in the description below on a full lesson on how to convert from mixed numbers to improper fractions. But in case you forgot, here's the step-by-step -step process. Let's focus on two and two thirds right now. So the first thing we have to do is take our denominator and multiply it by our whole number. That's three times two, and that gives us six. The next thing we have to do is add on the numerator. So we'll have six plus two. And six plus two is eight. So I'll put eight here, and that's gonna be our numerator. The last step is to keep the denominator exactly the same. Since our denominator is three, we'll just write that here. So the improper fraction is eight over three. Let's bring down our division symbol. And now we'll do the same exact thing to the one and one half. So the first thing we'll do is take our denominator two and multiply it by our whole number, which is one. Two times one is two. And then the next step is to add the result to the numerator we have. So that's going to be two plus one, which gives us three. And the last thing we have to do is keep our denominator exactly the same. In this mixed number, our denominator is two. So we'll just keep that two right here. So our original problem was two and two thirds divided by one and one half. But because we have to make every number a fraction and we turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions, that means our new problem that we're gonna work with is here, eight over three divided by three over two. So let's rewrite this on a new page. So now that we have two fractions that we're dividing, we have to make sure the first thing we do is set up a KCF chart. And each of these letters are really important. The K stands for keep. And what we're going to keep is the first value that we have. It's going to stay exactly the same. Our first value is eight over three. So we're going to keep that exactly the same. The C stands for change. And what we're changing is our operation division to multiplication. So underneath this division symbol, in my change column, I'm going to change that to multiplication. And the F stands for flip. And what this means is we're gonna write the reciprocal of the divisor, which is the second value here. Reciprocal is just a fancy math word for flipping a fraction. So here is three over two. But the reciprocal, or the flipped form of that, is going to be 2 over 3, because the bottom became the top, and the top became the bottom. So now that we have this set up, all we have to do is multiply straight across. We've got 8 times 2, which is 16. That's going to be the numerator for my answer. And then we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. So our answer is 16 over nine. But the problem with that is that it's an improper fraction and we can't leave fractions as improper. So we're going to have to convert this to a mixed number. And what that means is we're going to have to rewrite this in division notation. So it'll look like this. The numerator is going to get divided so it goes inside the house and the denominator is going to be doing the dividing. So it goes outside the house. So how many times can nine go into 16 without going over? Well, that's one whole time. 
because 1 times 9 is 9. When we subtract that, we get 7. And I don't have to do any more work because now that I have this, I have everything I need to write my final answer as a mixed number. Because 9 goes into 16 one whole time, the whole number from my mixed number will be 1. My remainder, 7, will be my numerator. And my divisor, which is also my denominator, will just stay exactly the same. And this means the final answer here is 1 and 7 over 9. So here's the next problem. Make sure you pause the video and try it on your own. Good luck. So remember, whenever we have a division problem and it involves fractions, you have to turn every number into a fraction. And since we're dealing with mixed numbers, we have to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. In order to do that, we need to follow the following steps. So first, we'll take our denominator and multiply it by our whole number. So we've got 5 times 7. That gives us 35. And next, I have to take the result of 35 and add it to the numerator. So here it'll be 35 plus 4. And 35 plus 4 is 39. That is our numerator. The last thing we have to do is just keep our denominator the same. So I'll write that as 39 over 5. Don't forget to bring down your division symbol. And finally, we have to do the same exact thing here that we did to 7 and 4 fifths. So first, we'll take our denominator and multiply it by our whole number. That's going to be 10 times 3. That gives us 30. Next, we're going to take this result of 30 and add it to our numerator. So that's going to be 30 plus 9. And that's going to give us 39. Then finally, we're going to keep our denominator exactly the same. Since our denominator here is 10, our denominator is going to stay 10. So now our new problem is 39 over 5 divided by 39 over 10. Let's rewrite this nice and big. So now that we have two fractions, we need to make sure we put everything in a KCF chart. Remember that the K stands for keep. So 39 over 5 is going to say exactly the same. C stands for change, which means our division will become multiplication. And finally, the F stands for flip, which means we're just going to take this fraction here and flip it around. So instead of 39 over 10, we'll have 10 over 39. Now usually you could multiply straight across, but these are some really, really big numbers. So what I would recommend is using a method called cross cancellation. Here's how it works. So first I'll look at the numerator in my first fraction and I'll look at my denominator in my second fraction. And I'll ask myself, hey self, is there any number that can divide both of these values? Well, they're both 39. So I can divide both of them by 39. 39 divided by 39 is going to be 1. So I'll cross this off and put a 1 instead. And here I'll do the same thing, because 39 divided by 39 is 1. So I'll cross this off and put a 1 here. Next we'll look the other way. So we're going to look at the denominator of our first fraction and the numerator of our second fraction. And we'll ask ourselves, hey selves, is there any number that can divide both 5 and 10? Well. They're both divisible by 5. So let's divide both of them by 5. Let's start here. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'll cross off the 5 and I'll put a 1 instead. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I'll cross that off and I'll put a 2. Then finally, what I like to do is I like to rewrite my new fractions so I know what to focus on. The top here is 1, the bottom here is 1, so I'll rewrite this as 1 over 1. I'll write my multiplication symbol. And for this fraction, the new top is 2, the new bottom is 1, so I'll write 2 
over 1. Since we finished that, all we have to do is multiply straight across. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 1 equals 1. So that gives us 2 over 1, which is the same exact thing as 2.